Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Capricorn's private eye reading for the upcoming energy of November. In this message, Capricorn, we're first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck. Get an overview of what's challenging this between you and your person. Then we are going to dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy here, Capricorn. And in this portion of the message, we are going to look into your person's true intentions moving forward. How they're feeling about the challenge at this time. How they're feeling about you in particular. What their next move is going to be and any advice, guidance from spirit. Clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Capricorn, what we can see for you guys. Well, 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 Capricorn. You're coming out as attraction and deception. Your person is coming out as unrequited love and free yourself. Now, the first thing that comes to my mind is friends with benefits. This is a friends with benefits situation. I feel here there's a deeper connection than you guys may be intertwined with one another currently, but I feel here there are outside forces that may be causing disruptions in this connection. Okay. I feel like this is more of a sexual connection than anything. Just just sex for a lot of you okay there is an energy of wanting more or perceiving there to be more okay so let's dive a little bit deeper into the challenge here capricorn and see what comes out for you now please keep in mind guys the messages here are general Meaning they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title, there's something in the message. If the message resonates, there will be a link below for the extended version. There's also information for ritual kits, personal readings, and how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month in the description box. More than welcome to check that out. And Capricorn, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. I feel like your person really doesn't know what they want. They may be telling you that they want to take things to another level with you, the next level with you, but I feel here an energy of holding back and I feel you feel an energy of holding back. There is a deep connection coming out. Either you have known this person for a while or you guys just connect. Okay, Six of Cups is that past life energy that that is a connection there, okay? But I feel here, Capricorn, there is this energy of outside forces causing disruptions. This could come from your side. This could come from your person's side. Maybe it's both of you, okay? I feel here you guys may be helping each other financially, so business terms. Maybe you guys are business partners and things just got taken to the next level. This is really causing the confusion because there's a want to focus on business, a need to focus on money, um, but having this energetic pull between the two of you. So let's clarify the energy here, Capricorn. I do feel like your person wants to keep things about business and they would prefer this not to get, they prefer this to not get intertwined. Okay, so to keep things separate. If that means that they have to focus only on business and let the other go, I feel like they are willing to do that. Again, there is that intense connection felt between the two of you, but there is a lot of confusion. There's a lot of holding back. And you might not be 
completely honest with this person about everything you have going on in your environment. I'll just put it like that Capricorn. So let's clarify the energies first of all, before we get into your person's energy here a little bit deeper. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. If you find the messages helpful, give it a thumbs up. It's helpful for the growth of the channel and it does help get the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. We are going to start with the Seven of Cups and the High Priestess energy here, Capricorn. Seven of Cups, High Priestess energy for Capricorn spirit. Please clarify. Seven of Cups, the High Priestess. There is a need, a wand, an energy of keeping things strictly about business. And that being the focus. Now, it's almost as if maybe this was a person who you had a business partnership with or some type of business ventures with and things got taken to the next level. Not that you guys didn't want that to happen, but it's more of an energy of impulsively making a decision to do that and maybe having a little bit of a regret what i feel here is your person is trying to free themselves from this capricorn and you and this person may have to get on the same page with what your intentions are here okay power the judgment so maybe you need to express to this person that you want to keep things just on a business type of a level Okay, and maybe your person here is going to have a conversation about that as well. Okay, if you guys can express how you truly feel about one another, okay, if you guys can um, get on the same page here, and I feel here it's really having to do with business. There's a need to stick to business, strictly business, Capricorn is what's coming out here, and not letting your emotions getting involved getting in the way or getting involved in getting the bag getting the money okay so let's dive a little bit deeper into your person's energy i want to see what their true intentions are moving forward here capricorn thank you guys so much for all the love and support for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing capricorn's person's intentions here spirit what does capricorn need to see about this person please and thank you i will say capricorn i do feel an energy of this person being strictly about business so that may be something that you need to be mindful of when you're dealing with this person okay capricorn's person's true intentions moving forward please and thank you spirit Or a five of cups energy. This person has a lot of past hurt, a lot of past pain, and I feel Capricorn, their focus is on healing that past pain. For this person, relationship isn't in their future. Again, I feel an energy of strictly business. This is almost as if you guys started a friends with benefits type of a deal and then they pulled back. We're finding out here why, why they're pulling back. Okay. I do feel like their true intention right now is they're focused on the past Capricorn. They're focused on their past and they may be still dealing with people from their past or still healing from the energy at least okay so how is this person feeling about the challenge at this time capricorn the challenge is keeping things about business so if things aren't about business then i feel like that this person is ready to leave okay um this is an energy of being ready to walk away If it, the focus isn't about business, 
um, then they'd rather not deal with it. Strictly business here, okay, is what I see this as. And if it's not that, then it's not nothing. There's an energy of imbalance as well, okay? What I will say, Capricorn, is this person is definitely avoiding deep personal relationships at this time. Anything that's too deep, um, they'll avoid it. How is this person feeling about Capricorn at this time, Spirit, in this present moment, in this energy? How is this person feeling about Capricorn? I feel like this person has a lot of intense emotions and this is causing them to this is causing their mind to bring up a lot of past memories capricorn i feel like you bring them this connection does bring happiness to them but then it reminds them of whatever it is that they're healing from the past We're really looking into your person's energy here, real, uh, an intense view, right? Micro-focused. But we might not like exactly what we see. And what we see here, Capricorn, with this person's energy is they have a lot of deep wounds, okay? A lot of resentment, a lot of maybe even an abandonment wound that they're healing through or maybe not even aware of. This is going to cause them to have emotional landmines that's going to come up if they're triggered in circumstances. And when we're triggered, that's when our fight or flight response is initiated. Now, depending on how this person is used to reacting in their past, they can either fight this out or they will flee, run away. And I feel an energy here, Capricorn, of this person getting ready to run away. Because this is bringing up a lot of past emotions. They also are most likely aware that you are entertaining other people or that there's other people in the mix. That's definitely something that's causing their view to be skewed here. They're definitely proceeding with caution, paying attention to the red flags, the warning signs, maybe even overly cautious. So what's the next move here? Where is this all headed? Capricorn and this person. That's what we need to know here, spirit. So where is this all headed? an indecisive energy some of you this may come as a surprise some of you this isn't going to come as a surprise i feel like this person has a tendency to push people away a tendency to push people away in order to try to control their surroundings their environment and i feel like this hasn't served them in the past and it's not serving them here in the future they see here they don't know how to control their environment, their own energy. They're still learning. And I also feel like this person really doesn't know what they truly want in relationships. They know what they want out of money, finance, business, and that's why that's where their focus is. But what I feel here, Capricorn, and this is an underlying message, and this is it's not going to ring true for everyone, but I feel like there, this connection is starting to soften this person, starting to open their heart up. Um, and this might not open up with you, okay? But it's starting the process of melting that ice. So as with any reading, there is a decision that needs to be made. 
you have a determination are you going to stay the course be friends or strictly business with this person are you going to free yourself and walk away the advice guidance moving forward here for capricorn I feel here, Capricorn, this person does bring you happiness and you them. You guys both bring each other happiness, joy. I feel like keeping things on a light level is definitely in the cards. And I also feel here there is a need to sit with this energy, hermit energy, for a little bit. Sit, feel it out. Trust your intuition. And if you're having a hard time deciding what that is, then you're going to need to kind of clear your space and clear your mind. This person is in a process of healing in a roundabout way. For most of you, it's not a direct way because I don't feel like they directly know that they're going through this process. But I do feel that they, the universe, spirit, God, however you, what de, whatever deity you pray to is guiding this person. This person is being divinely guided on their path towards healing. They may not intentionally know this, but that's what's going on. There is a lot of pain, a lot of conflicted energies from their past that they're not able to let go of but I feel here by being in connection with you Capricorn they're starting to be able to see things from a different perspective which is a beautiful energy you might not want to endure this with this person and that's perfectly fine but you have to make that determination for yourself and then proceed all I do here is lay all the cards out on the table and give you the information for you to make the sound decision for yourself, Capricorn. Your soul journey message coming out for your reading is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies, see what comes out there, where this is all headed, the outcome if the advice is followed. The extended version is all linked below. Capricorn. The message that comes with forgiveness is you can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, and blame. Your soul in your path, every soul in your path has free will and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you react to the manifestations of others' free will holding on to the negative energy that will strengthen karmic cycles and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. I want to say, I mean, this, there it could be an energy of mirroring going on here so this you could be showing one another aspects of yourself that need to be healed i feel like this forgiveness though is more for the cross watcher there is a need for them to dig deep into this negative energy and ask themselves where this is coming from so capricorn Blessing messages, I trust the process of life. There is a rhythm and a flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. I trust the process of life. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Capricorn, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much 
for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.